All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here checking out. So I'm sitting my home away from home. I had to drive about 600 miles last night, and on occasion, I would actually turn the news on. And in doing so, one of the things that I found, and you may have observed this, is that some of these cities, these mayors, show a complete lack of leadership. And that's the title of this video, the leadership, the lack thereof. And let's talk about this, leadership. Well, what's the definition of leadership? If you've been in the military, then you know and say it with me, leadership is the ability to influence others to achieve a common goal or task, right? Leaders have to make very hard decisions. And what I'm getting into is decisions are hard. Uh, hard because they are not good for everybody. Somebody is going to be upset. But what I am finding is that some of these leaders, especially in some of these cities, they want to appease everyone, okay? So we're talking about leadership through appeasement. There is no such thing. You can't appease one group and anger the other. Let's talk about some examples. Uh, Portland, Seattle, Chicago, New York, DC. Hard decisions can lead to some seriously bad choices when you are trying to appease a certain group. Let's talk about why, why would somebody want to be a, this thing called appeasement leadership. Let's just title it that. They're afraid of the media. So what are they doing? They're appeasing the media. The media, we know, the mainstream media, has a certain agenda. And none of which, I think, if you're watching this channel, you're in agreement with. Also, they're afraid of organizations like Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and other leftists. But that's the thing. They're afraid. You can't be afraid and be a leader at the same time. If you are afraid, then you're leading through appeasement. You're trying to make one group happy. But what happens? Appeasement, leaders are willing to sacrifice their communities. Here it is. You've got Ted Wheeler up there. How many days is it? 97, 100 days of riots in one city? The city's burning. And people are getting tired of it. Because one, their property is being destroyed and the citizens are in danger. What does that mean? That means that you're going to see more civil defense groups. Because what this is, this is not a militia group. These are citizens of those towns or other individuals who care about the safety and the property in those towns coming to protect and do something that the police are not allowed to do because that mayor has told them to stand down. I mean, we're talking about Kenosha, where a young man went up there to protect property, to take care of other people and through the acts of other individuals who were attacking him. i got to be honest with you, I love reading and seeing the mainstream media. Oh, uh, Mr. Bomford, or whatever his name, was approaching the shooter. No, he was charging that guy. You see a guy with a gun and you're running at him and he doesn't shoot you in fear for his life? I don't blame that child. And that's another thing is that Kenosha, had you put a stop to this before it became an issue, that would never have happened. And this is where the responsibility lies and the lack of leadership towards appeasement is that the more that you try to appease one group, the other group is gonna get angered because their property is being damaged and their lives are in danger. So what do you expect people to do? Stand down as you whittle and you cry in your little corner in your closet in your home? <sighs> You're ultimately putting the entire civilization all the citizens in danger, along with their property. And these people are not gonna sit by like you want them to in your leadership of appeasement. What's happening, we're producing citizen soldiers. It doesn't help that the media is misleading the public and saying that, oh, the, the protests were mostly, uh, what do you call it, uh, polite, and, uh, but you know, with the fires going on in the back. I'm getting all tongue tied. You guys don't know how many times I've had to do this video over and over again. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that these leaders, Ted Wheeler, Jenny Durkin, Lori Lightfoot, de Blasio, you can't lead by appeasement. You have to make hard decisions and hard choices that affect everyone. Put your foot down, protect your citizens, and protect your property of the city. It's not up to you to allow these individuals to destroy portions of the town that you see fit because that's what you're doing. You are allowing it to happen and people are getting tired. <sighs> that's it. Leadership through appeasement. It can't be a positive outcome. 
Let me know what your thoughts are down below, guys. I've had to do this video like 10 times because I get bent out of shape, and I'm very passionate about this. But what's happening is because of the lack of leadership, that appeasement, the being terrified of the mainstream media and what they're going to paint a picture of you if you go ahead and you put stamp out what's going on right now. Jimmy Durkin, Seattle, CHOP. What was a festival of love you thought that would be? You were so ignorant to think this. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. It, it boggles the mind how these people think they are leading their country in a big old kumbaya until the whole community gets burned because you allowed it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.